I can't even tell you how nice it was to sleep in a bed last night. <laughs> but now the time has come to get up and go. We're going on a boat. We're having an adventure day. Let's do it. So this is Brit or Brittany, and uh, yeah. Brittany is the owner of the Airbnb that we're staying at, and she's also taking us out uh, on her boat today. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but any time at uh, one of Brit's Airbnbs, she just will take you out for a day on the water. It's just a thing, it's just a part of the Airbnb. <laughs> So we are heading over to the boat ramp. The boat is fueled. We have snacks, we have water, we have ice. We're ready to go. So I was planning to be really good on the boat today. I was like, I'm gonna dive well today. For breakfast, I had an apple and a banana. And I was like, yeah, I'm good. And then Johnny turns up with a breakfast bagel. Bacon, eggs on a bagel. I'm like, oh. So I've been eating that. I'm not gonna dive well today. There you go. Looking out for you, mate. Thanks, bro. Looking out for you. <laughs> Earlier that day, we picked up Johnny and his cousin, Lonnie. Johnny is a Kiwi competitive freediver. He's an old friend, and it was bloody great to see him. Man, look at the colour of the water just here in the harbour. Absolute professional. <laughs> I'm thinking it really well. <laughs> Captain Brett, what's yeah. the plan, Jan? South. Oh wait, should I not tell us, tell everyone where we're going? Or just like, oh, that's okay. what? We're gonna head down south and try to find some hammerheads. Ooh, exciting. Very exciting. Very exciting. Johnny has spotted a dorsal fin, so we think it could be uh, some pilot whales. We're just cruising along in the direction that we last saw the pilot whales. Um, it's cross, eh? Sometimes they want to swim with you, and sometimes they don't. So we're just cruising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's it's rubbish. Rubbish. Huh? I think it's on the way. Really? Yeah, yeah. 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 Like there's something in the water over there. We <laughs> went over to it and it's, uh, it's a coconut. We just hit that buoy right now so we're like, you know. So Maro set the drone up to see if we can locate the uh, pilot whales. So he's got it flying right now. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, professional! Like you've done that before. <laughs> so that's a big no for pilot whales. A very big no. A resounding no, in fact. It's my time. So that's a big no for Mahi. <laughs> big no for pilot whales. Big no for Mahi Mahi. Um, but there was a booby on the on the mooring on the buoy, right? That's a booby bird over there. <laughs> what are they? Are they actually called boobies? Yeah. Big yes for boobies. What? Big yes for boobies. A, but a big yes for boobies. Yeah. <laughs> actually, Captain, what is the name of this boat? Uh, New Boobs. <laughs> because our old boat was called Boobies. <laughs> so it's the New Boobs. There you go. Today is officially the day of broken dreams on the boat. <laughs> but actually, so we've pulled into this bay and there's meant to be like a, a resident bait ball around. So we're gonna send the drone up again, look for the bait ball and hop in with the bait. Cause that's gonna be pretty cool too. Oh yeah. That's it, man. Maro has located the bait ball. I, I repeat, Maro has located the bait ball. We have something, yeah. something is on. <laughs> no fish, no whales, no sharks, but bait, bait ball. Let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return of the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door. She at the back, bro. All it really take is a little taste. Allen girl, blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah, I got the semi four way. Don't step out the line like this, a probate. You hit the line and try to locate. This for the time, got time for no day. One, too many, I'm going. Too crazy, and I got bad ones, and they ready. A good time, so now it's in the whip, we 
we left that. Yeah. Can't remember anything, but I know we got lit. So the fish got a little bit scared and they swam away. Um, but we got back in the boat, Mara took the drone back up and he's like, ah, oh, holy right, f right here <laughs> the whole time. We can't see them, where have they gone? <laughs> Look like a rave at the condo. Heck of a night in Toronto. She said, boy, you in Morocco. Pearl White mention in the South go. Fill up my cup with the pop wall. High off life in the spot, though. Running at the visa. Really talking to a real life Mona Lisa. Jesus pieces hanging off the fleece. So much going on, it's hard to focus on the features. I got one. Too many, I'm going. Too crazy, and I got bad ones, and they ready. A good time, so now it's in the we left the yeah. Can't remember anything, but I know we got lit. Yeah. and uh, dive with some mantas now so it's just a big bloody day of adventures looking for and sometimes finding hey johnny which way is north bro oh it is this way bro oh you know do the thing we're out the front of the sheridan resort and this is where all the mantas are um super super secret spot by the way don't tell anyone um, so <laughs> apparently there's like a cleaning station here or something. What is it? A cleaning station? Yeah, and then the lights from the hotel attract plankton. Ah, uh -huh, there you go. Plankton. Right. So what was that again? Sorry, the light. Uh, the lights from the restaurant here attract the plankton. Cool. And a cleaning station, you know. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna jump in the water and check, check this whole thing out. I've got to pause the video to let you know that we are doing Deep Week in Bali this July. It's going to be a huge gathering of the freediving family. We're bringing in freediving champions and the best freediving instructors from all over the world for the world's best freediving education experience. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. I've got all the info in the description down below. Head over to my website and I will see you there. Wow, that was sick. It's just mantas, just like flying everywhere. And the second you go down to be with one manta, another manta comes, and then a friendly manta just jumps in the way, and you're like, oh god, which manta do I swim with? <laughs> what a cool day. Did a little bit of everything today. It was absolutely amazing. Are you guys hungry? I'm pretty hungry. We go get a feed? Let's go. Filming myself getting in and out of cars and stuff. We're going to a place called Mauna Kea. Is that how it's pronounced, Johnny? I think you got that right there, Adam. Mauna Kea. Um, it's like, it's a really tall mountain. It's uh, it's about, um, in feet, it's, it's 14,000 feet, which is about... It's, it's a lot. It's 4,000 meters. 
very high. It's gonna be really cold too, so we brought all of our warm clothes, we're gonna rug up, and apparently there's snow there on the ground. So like, you know, I don't know if you know this about me, but I've never seen snow before, so I'm gonna pop some cherries today. So, interesting fact that may or may not be true. <laughs> I believe that Mauna Kea is the tallest mountain on Earth. It's not the highest by elevation because we all know that's Mount Everest, but from bottom to top, uh, Mauna Kea, I think, is the tallest. If it's wrong, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> a mile oh, turn left onto Mount Akia access oh road we're just driving along it's all like green fields and then bang black rock everywhere like like lava is just flowing through <laughs> the visitor center now um, we're at 10,000 feet also known as 3,000 meters um, and it's pretty nippy up here so we're gonna get changed into our, into our winter mountain clothes and uh, then get going it's actually really strange because like you know about an hour ago it was like you know really nice and hot and now it's bloody cold Go pajamas. <laughs> these COVID kilos are <laughs> not being friendly <laughs> Ready. This is the highest altitude I've ever been to. Uh, I'm actually feeling kind of gassed, like just walking around. Like it's kind of like hard to catch my breath. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of recommended that you stay here for about an hour or so before you go up another uh, kilometer. Uh, like a thousand meters to the top, which is like 4,200 meters or 14,000 feet. So I'm just gonna stay here, get my breath back, hop back in the car, and go again and uh, see how we go. <laughs> this is Amanda and she's our Hawaiian local and she's gonna take us up the rest of the mountain. That's right. <laughs> so we're leaving the visitor center, which is 10,000 uh, feet, and then we're going up to the top of Mauna Kea where they have the telescopes, and it's almost 14,000. I don't know what that is in funny money. It is but... 4,200 meters. Wow. That is snow up there. That is real life snow. We're like in the snow. This is, this is like full oh. snow mountains. That's a snowy peak right there. Look at that. Full snow. Oh, we're out on the top of the mountain. It's very cold. There's snow everywhere. Woo! Wow, Lottie, put some pants on. Oh! Look at this. It's like a f wonderland. I mean, I'm totally, totally dizzy just walking along. And there's so much snow over it. It's very cool. Snow, as you might not be aware, it's very cold. <laughs> so cool. It's um like absolutely spectacular. I thought it was just gonna be like a cool place, but it's actually like really mind-blowing. Like really um special.